All right, you guys and girls, DC Comic Guy here. Forgive me, I am trying to grow a beard. I am looking a bit scruffy at the moment. But anyway, I do have some news surrounding The Flash Season 2. It is going to be huge. I cannot wait. Let's get into it. So, Zoom will be the new big bad for Season 2. Now, if you don't know much of the comics, Professor Zoom was the first villain in Season 1, which was Eobard Thorne, who was pretending to be Harrison Wells. Now, it gets all tricky because the Flash is using the multiverse, which for you people who don't know what that is, it's a cosmic construct collecting many of the fictional universes from when DC Comics first started up until now. In the picture you see now, you can see different flashes from different worlds, and we are watching the Barry Allen Flash world. Now, this is what the big wormhole at the end of Season 1 was. It was a gateway to bring other characters from other worlds into the show. Now, back to Zoom. Zoom and Professor Zoom are two different characters. Eobard Thorne was a classic reverse Flash. Professor Zoom, back in the Silver Age comics, which is back in 1956. Then after the 50th anniversary of the DC Comics was closed, and also known as Crisis on Infinite Earths, Wally West then took over as the Flash, and they wanted a new villain, so they upgraded Professor Zoom to just Zoom. It was also a different character named Hunter Solomon. Now, Hunter Solomon was a friend of Wally West, who then got injured in a Gorilla Grodd attack. He then tried to use a cosmic treadmill to travel through time, and stuffed up, and that's how he gained his powers to travel through time. So, Professor Zoom, super genius, from the future. Zoom, a friend of Wally West from the present, who has lost his mind and tries to push the Flash to his fastest limits so he can save everyone. Now, you're probably thinking that ain't bad. While Zoom did travel back in time to kill Linda Park, who is Wally West's girlfriend and was also a character on the show who worked at the newspaper company with Iris and dated Barry for a bit. So they have also confirmed and casted the character Jay Garrick. For you who don't know who Jay Garrick was, he was the first ever Flash in the Golden Age comics, which started in 1940. Now, for you guys that didn't know, that helmet that actually popped out of the wormhole was Jay Garrick's. Wally West has also been confirmed on the show, but we just don't know how or when as of yet. For you who don't know who Wally West is, he was created in 1959 and was a nephew of Iris West. Wally West became the Flash after Barry Allen gave up his life to save Earth. Now, to me, I think I see it going down like this. All three Flashes, Jay Garrick, Wally West, and Barry Allen are going to take on Zoom, as Zoom is the fastest speed of them all, whether it be mid-season or end of season. And lastly, they confirmed and casted Patty Spivitt, who will be Joe West's new partner since Eddie died. Now, for you guys who don't know who she is, in the recent comics, The New 52, which started in 2005, she was Barry Allen's girlfriend. She also became a female speedster. Don't know if they will do that on the show or not, but hey, anything's possible. They also confirmed two other Rogue members, Mirror Master and Dr. Alchemy, who I will explain about when we meet them on the show. So, what can we expect in Season 2? We can expect a lot of time travel, a faster, scary villain Zoom, multiple speeds, and more characters from the comics. Now, as you can see, I'm pumped. I cannot wait for Season 2. It's going to be awesome. Like I keep saying, The Flash is my favourite superhero. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. DC comic guy. Or should I say The Flash? I wish. Out.